telling you guys how I was gonna say how I got infected uh, well I, don't, I guess I kind of know how I got infected okay I guess I kind of know how I got infected but how I healed it myself without going back to my piercer and yada 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 no I don't recommend you just trying to heal it yourself if it's really bad I do recommend you going to your piercer like a professional and getting it taken care of the only reason I didn't go back to my piercer was because it wasn't horrible so I didn't think I needed to anyways okay let's get on with this video so like you guys know back in like in my scoop in my scoop videos my scoop piercing videos um how many times I have gotten this piercing done this piercing got infected it's been like a while now but um back when i first got it done obviously like the last time i got it done um when it was in the healing process is when it got infected obviously so uh, excuse me i am sorry <laughs> but yes this was back when i first got it pierced i'll leave that video right here for you guys um so check it out this is when I got it pierced and I thought it was healed. Like everything as far as like how it felt and how it looked and all that seemed like it was healed to me. No, it wasn't a very long time. It was like a week or two. I guess probably two. Probably like two weeks. I would say. Something like that. Like two weeks. <laughs> I'm trying to think. But I'm going to go with like two weeks. Um, So I thought I was healed enough. And I wasn't taking care of it how I should have been. Like basically as far as when I say taking care of it. Like I wasn't cleaning it like I was supposed to. far as um, like you're supposed to. When you get it first done you're supposed to wash your mouth out and clean it every time you eat like not saying i do all this stuff but i'm just saying like everything that they tell you like every time you eat smoke drink um oral um what else what else can you do with your mouth i don't know all that stuff um you're supposed to wash out your mouth and clean your piercing after every time you do that so me Thinking it's healed, I'm always eating, as you guys know, if you didn't see in my intro, <laughs> I'm always eating. So, I think it's healed, so I'm not cleaning it like I'm supposed to, so food and, you know, particles can still get in there, and it's not healed, so it's like causing contamination and yada, 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 you know, all that nasty stuff, so. And then obviously you guys know I'm engaged, so yes, I was kissing Bay. Sorry if that's TMI, <laughs> but I was kissing Bay. Um, so you know, spit <laughs> like gets infected, whatever. Um, so you know, like I said, I wasn't taking care of it properly because I thought it was healed when it wasn't. Which, like I said, I don't recommend doing what I'm what I did because you are supposed to take care of your piercing like it is a fresh, just pierced piercing for like I think six weeks at least so I'm thinking because this is my third time getting it done this you know 
should be fine. My tongue is used to it. It doesn't need that much healing. Wrong. So, I should have taken care of it properly. Like, it was my first time getting the piercing for, like, the full six weeks. But I did it. So, I'm just telling you guys what I did, where I went wrong, how I fixed it so you guys don't make the same mistake. So, like I was saying, though, um, I was doing all that stuff and I wasn't keeping it clean properly. So, one day... Yeah, it was like one day I, it was hurting. Like how I figured out it was infected was because it started hurting again. And I'm like, why is my piercing hurting? And it was like hurting like, like a, like a sore pain basically. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It was like a sore pain. And I was like, why is it hurting? And it would just keep hurting every day, all day basically. So it was aggravating to eat and, you know, go on with your life because it's hurting. So I'm like looking at it all the time, like trying to figure out why it's hurting. One time at work, it started bleeding. Like it wasn't like like my mouth, ugh. like my mouth wasn't like gushing blood or nothing. But I like I'm at work and I'm like starting to taste blood. And I'm like, what the heck? So I go to the back and grab like a paper towel and I like wipe my tongue. And I see like a little bit of blood on it. So I'm like, what the heck? So I like ran to the bathroom. And I'm like spitting in the sink like why is my tongue bleeding some and like cuz like I said it was infected and I didn't know so you know I guess you know what happens with infected stuff so it's bleeding and crap so I'm like in the bathroom at work trying to like clean my like wash my mouth out with water and like get it from like stop bleeding and all this it was horrible but um yeah, and then like I said, another reason, that was more another reason why I knew it was infected. And then another reason was because it started pussing again. And you guys know with fresh piercings, like, there's going to be pus and ooze and stuff like that when you have a piercing, a fresh piercing. So, it was pussing again. So, I'm like, okay, this is not right. So, it was pussing every day. I think, like, it was like, I think it was like a whitish yellow. Sorry, nasty, but... Just letting you guys know what it was, what was going on so you guys can look out for it too so you don't have the same problem. But it's like a whitish yellow and it was coming out of like one of the holes, you know, where my piercing was. And like, hold on, let me like, let's try to show you. Okay, like, um, uh, uh, in here, like, the hole, <laughs> if you guys I'm trying to show you. Like, the hole is, like, oozing pus, basically. So, you can't taste it, but you can see it, obviously. So, I'm, like, looking in the mirror, and it's gross. So, what I had did one night was, you know, you guys know Listerine. This ain't, obviously, what to call it. What's that word? You guys know what I'm talking about, but this ain't, it ain't that. <laughs> but, um, it was for Listerine, and, um sponsored i think that's the word i was looking for sponsored but um i washed my mouth out with that so like you know kill germs because that's what it's for so it helps ease some of the pain so every day i would just do that like i went to walmart and bought like you know the little travel bottles of listerine and kept that with me so every time i feel my lunch break and stuff i can use that to clean it and um it definitely did help like and it's funny because I'm not gonna lie Bay did tell me when I was like not keeping it clean how I should he was like you should clean it you shouldn't be doing that or you should blah 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 and I'm like it should be fine it's okay it's okay and he's like okay well you know whatever like and yeah like when I look back on it I should have listened to him because then my piercing would never got infected and I wouldn't have been in pain like I was to the point it wasn't like horrible pain, but I was to the point where I wanted to take it out. Like I didn't want to take it out like because I love my piercing, you guys know that. So I didn't want to take it out, but I wanted to take it out because I thought it was gonna, you know, obviously help the pain and like it was aggravating pain, like it hurt and it was aggravating at the same time, you know what I mean? So I was like, dang, I should just really take it out. Like I don't know what else to do. So I am happy I thought about the washing my mouth out and just basically reversing back the process of keeping it clean like how I should have been taking care of it anyway so I just thank God that it wasn't bad enough that I had to take it out or worse or whatever you know like it was really bad off infected that you know just keeping it clean 
like I should have been just helped it um, but like I said for you guys like if you're in the same boat that could help but if you're worse off maybe like if it's bleeding all the time or it's like pussing a lot or whatever and you're really really in pain then I suggest like I said going back to your piercer I say take it out and go back to your piercer I don't know but it's better to be safe than sorry but like I told you guys mine wasn't even that bad off of infection so like I caught it in enough time so that's what I did basically um go back to cleaning my piercing how I was told to clean it when I first got it done I do suggest if it's a new piercing if you don't have like a solution they give you like your piercing gives you and you get Listerine or whatever mouthwash you use to get like the alcohol free one because it will burn sting whatever you want to call it because there's basically a cut in your tongue so it's gonna hurt just like soap or alcohol on a paper cut if it's a cut it's gonna hurt so um I do suggest getting that call free version, which is what I did. Well, actually, no, I, I didn't even do that because that was extra money. So what you can do to save on money if you already have, like, mouthwash, but it's the alcohol version, what I did was you um, take, some of your, take some of your mouthwash and just dilute it with water. So I had, like, um, I would say, like, three-fourths, like, three-fourths of Listerine and then, like, more of water would I say like a half no because you guys know what I mean like I had this much water to this much Listerine there so yeah so you see, like the clean like the clean cleanliness but it's not so harsh so yeah that's what I did my piercing got back better and I would say a week and a half I was out for a week and a half, two weeks of me doing that. Yes, it took some time, but at the end of the day, it helped, so I'm happy about that. And I do hope this video helps someone if they are in the same situation, because I know it wasn't a very great one to be in. Um, but yeah, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave a comment and I will definitely help you out. If I didn't mention something in this video that you need help on or whatever. Um, and again, like I said, I hope this video has helped someone. And yeah, make sure you just like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video.